What is up YouTube? It is P to the Parkour Dude 91 coming at you with another video, okay? And I apologize, there's no video for this, but I'm just filming this in my car because frankly I have better things to do. Um, and 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 I have a life. I you know I don't I don't have time to devote to this guy, and frankly, he isn't worth my time. So um, to those of you who don't know, I have been writing from the start of day one a what is known as realistic war novel called Tiberius Rising. This is follows the exploits of Commander Stryker, who is um, overseas in Iraq with his elite squad of spec ops, and it is a fictional, okay, realistic war novel where Commander Stryker, um, he fights terrorists and everything, and I, I really enjoy writing this book, and I think that it is very um, inspirational to me, and hopefully my fans have said that they enjoyed as well. So, so what is the problem you may ask? Well, the problem is that there is a certain man you may know of as Fly Away Now, who is a YouTuber and is on here. Um, and what he's actually doing is giving these reviews of my book. Now, the title is weird. You're reviewing a review? Yeah, well, I am, dude, because I've tried every other way of dealing with this guy and but I don't think that he can take a taste of his own medicine honestly I think he's prepared to dish it out hold on one sec there you go Thank you. yeah Semper Fidelis okay I had to give money to the whole person okay but anyway I think he's prepared to dish it out but he can't take it in okay because that is the way that he is so this guy right here, he, he gives these reviews which are more closely described as literary bullying tactics. Simply put, he doesn't actually want to give a fair and balanced review. I have intel that suggests that he is being paid off by um, gamer food such as and or Ted, the financer behind gamer foods ops. And I believe that, you know how many reviewers on like IGN and GameSpot, people say that they're paid off to like give reviews, like positive reviews? Well this guy, I think he's being paid off to give a negative review and spoil my image in front of everyone because that's the type of character assassination I have come to expect from cowardly people such as Team Gamer Food. Okay. And... Frankly, I just want to clear this up in my fans' minds and hearts to know that I am not actually the type of person Fly Away Now depicts in his reviews. First off, my point of annoyance with his reviews are the simple fact that they are motivated against me. They are character attacks. They are not reviews. He does not review the book at all. The only reason he makes those videos is making is just trying to make me look like the bad guy here, okay? And no one no one forced him to read it. Listen, if you don't like it, you you can if you don't have anything nice to say, you can just say nothing at all, man. Alright, no one's forcing you to read the book. And clearly, he doesn't like books like this. Clearly, this isn't his cup of tea because he doesn't enjoy the stuff in the genre that other people do enjoy, okay? Such as um, detailed descriptions of, of weapons and hardware and equipment and loadouts, okay? That is a staple of the action genre. And it is useful in the reader's mind to paint a picture of what is happening on the battlefield of the book. However, he says that they're out of place. You know, he says that the action scenes, he says that they're out of place, that they're, they're, they're just flair, you know? Well, really, if, if you don't like that stuff, then you're in the wrong place, okay? I mean, that's like saying, um, you're gonna go to a horror movie and say, man, why is all this blood and guts? Why is this scary? <sighs> this is out of place, man. They shouldn't put zombies in here. You know, and, and who would do that? Okay, no one. Because that, that's just embarrassing, yo. All right, but he, he did it. Okay, and that's why I, I have more criticisms of his, um, <clears throat> shall we say, um, reviews, quote unquote, if you can call them that, such as the fact that he uses music which is too loud. Okay, I admit that his choice of music is in fact very cool. The music is good to listen to. Um, and everything, and I, I like it. However, it distracts you from the point of the review, and it's also too loud. He also rambles on a lot about stuff that really doesn't 
you know, it, it just, he just rambles on for too long. Um, instead of saying it once, he'll say it three times, which is something that I learned early on in vlogging is a dumb idea, you know, because it's boring for the listeners or viewers. Um, and I find it hard to believe that he expects to be taken seriously when he makes, you know, mistakes like that, okay? And, and that brings me to my next point, which is that he doesn't use specific examples. Most reviewers will say, you know, well, the continuity or whatever, okay, it does make sense because of this. But all Fly Away Now will do is he'll just say, well, you know, this is badly done. Well, you know, this is all, no substance, no style. Yeah, that's a quote, by the way. Well, this is low quality. He'll just say, you know, blanket statements like that, and that's unfair. Okay, and that's unfair because it doesn't it doesn't actually tell your audience anything. Okay, you know, I can say that too. I could say, well, fly away now make shitty reviews. And then that would be it. But that wouldn't tell anyone anything. It wouldn't really convince anyone. And, you know, I'm a, go I'm a good vlogger, so I know not to do that. He, he doesn't, okay? He makes rookie mistakes uh, day in, day out, really. And that's, that's my next thing that I would like to speak of on here is that he uses, um, he focuses too much on me instead of the book, all right? He, he talks, he clearly is not being objective about this. He talks about me, the person, when he should be talking about Stryker, okay? Two very different people with very different motivations and one of them is fictional, one of them is not, okay? And let's just say that, like, like he should take the work of Tiberius Rising fairly, okay? And he's not doing that. If, if this was written by anyone else, he probably would have just ignored it, but he didn't, okay? He went on a tirade. And that brings me to my final point, which I think is the nail in the coffin here, is that he is biased. Uh, in his reviews. Never once have I seen him provide a actual good thing to say about the book. You can watch every single review in his series which is called Things Wrong with Tiberius Rising and that right off the bat should tell you it's not objective but just to go further he has never once said a single good thing about the book even when there were the chapters that were above average, even for me, which is saying a lot. Some chapters, such as Eastbound, which is the conversation between the CAA chief and Omar, I thought that was one of my best chapters. The dialogue and, and pacing were very good, okay? And I used all the lessons that I learned in English 101, college composition, to, to put a great chapter out. And I spent a lot of work on that, and I didn't get any recognition. Okay, I would even I would even do things, you know, just to prove that he's a bullshitter. I did some things that he, he should have admitted were right. Such as, in the earlier reviews, he said that I didn't give a good physical description of what Jack Stryker looked like, okay? And so what I did was, in one of my chapters, I gave a description, okay? And he's still not happy, even though I made a, a, a detailed description and I put even a picture in there, okay, in the chapter, so he knows exactly what Jack Stryker looks like. He still wasn't happy. Like, put simply, um, there is no pleasing this guy, okay? He's, he's, because he's not out to be pleased. He, he isn't, he isn't doing this to actually, you know, read a good book. He's already convinced that anything I write is garbage, okay? Because that's, you know, money talks, all right? Money talks. There is no legitimate reason for him to do a review where all he does is point out the negative because I, I have no reason to take him seriously as a reviewer if he isn't objective. I have no motivation to look at that review at all and be like, well, maybe he's right, maybe I can change this, if he doesn't even give me credit where I deserve it. Because the simple fact of the situation is the following fact, that I do deserve credit for this book because I have actually put in a lot of effort into it and, and I made it, okay? 
And that alone just means that you should at least give me a fair chance. And But recently, I think that I have proven that Flyway now does not actually want to give a fair view. He, because even when I changed my book and improved it or whatever, you know, I, I realized that was a mistake now because there's really no pleasing the fucking guy at all. But, you know, he's, he's just a waste of time at this point. But that's what I wish to say about this. Um, he, he is not a reviewer. Do not take what he says as actual reviews because he has no journalistic integrity whatsoever. Of course, he tries to take the moral high ground here in saying that I'm disrespectful. He is pretty much famous for this in my eyes. He will always try to make himself look like the good guy no matter what. He always tries to make some story to make himself look like you know, oh, I'm, 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 you know, I'm the good guy, he's evil, third, third, you know, when that doesn't even make sense, but he can't admit that he's just doing this to bully me, he's lying to himself, and he knows it, and here's the thing, I guarantee, even after I post this, that he is gonna keep doing his shitty little reviews, because he is a hypocrite. He is a hypocrite. He can't take what he dishes out. I give him honest criticism right now. This is honest criticism that I'm giving, okay? And and I know that he's just gonna keep, keep on trucking like I never even made this video. All right, and that's proof right there. And when he does that, when he, when he goes and keeps posting his videos, uh, that's just proof that I'm right, pretty much. So that's about it. I mean, this the ball's in your court now fly away now because I know you're watching this and to the rest of the fans know that he is not going to listen to my critiques he is not going to improve his reviews he's going to keep doing the same old thing over and over again because you know he's he's not creative okay that's just sort of what he does and and going by my own what I said I will give him credit in some things such as the fact that the music he chooses is rockin', and um, he his accent sounds cool, and what else? Um, I can't think of anything else, but those are two pretty good things in my book. And oh yes, he also makes some of his YouTube videos have gun stuff in them. He does a whole YouTube channel where he shows weapon animations for guns. And I think that's pretty cool, okay? Uh, that's pretty cool, you know, for weapon mods for games such as Counter-Strike and Gary's Mod, you can go and look at the weapons before you download them and test them out. That is actually cool, okay? He is making some good videos. Okay, and that's to show that and prove that I am fair and that I am being that I am being fair and balanced in this in this review of him, okay? So when he, I am being the bigger man here, and he knows it, and he knows that he just got proven wrong um, when he's watching this. So I look forward to him making another review, uh, which is exactly the same as the last ones, um, and proving that I'm right. So once again, I'm right. So that's basically the my point here, um, and I'm glad that everyone watched this video. Thank you for watching. And that is about it. I will be posting more chapters of Tiberius Rising. I posted chapter 17 very recently. And I look forward to the fans reading it, okay? Because it is a very good book. Okay, it's nearing a climactic conclusion in the next few chapters. So look forward, okay? Because this has got to be awesome. And besides from that, I have another announcement to make regarding the book. Because for all the fans who were so awesome to watch this whole video and stay through the whole thing even though it's fucking 15 minutes long, here is your surprise announcement. After Tiberius Rising is done, I will start a new book under the name of Tiberius Rising Origins, okay, or Tiberius Origins. Um, and this will tell the story of how Jack Stryker went from, you know, normal, everyday, suburban kid to being a Special Forces Commander on the battlefield. Um, but that is, so this goes in a, if you haven't noticed, this is going with the running theme. First it's his origins, then it's him rising, he's, he's rising up to become Tiberius. 
Um, and then at the very, you know, there will be another book after that, but which I, I ha can't talk about yet. But I have very exciting things planned on the horizon for Jack Stryker, and it's going to be a great ride. We're nowhere near done yet. So thanks to all fans, and Semper Fidelis to all our armed forces. Jace out.